100 passengers board an airplane with 100 seats. Everyone has a ticket with their assigned seat on it in order. Except that the first passenger lost their ticket and just takes a random seat on the plane. Each passenger after will take their seat if possible, but if their own seat is taken, then they'll also just take a random seat. The question is, if you're the last passenger, what's the probability you sit in your assigned seat? If you try to brute force this with lots of probability calculations, you're going to run into some trouble. It's too much. So instead, let's be a little less rigorous and just look for the pattern. Because believe it or not, the number of passengers here doesn't matter. Let's pretend we only have two passengers. It's just the first passenger and you, with only two seats on the plane. That would mean half the time the first passenger chooses their own seat, leaving you with your assigned seat. While the other half of the time, the first passenger would choose your seat, leaving you with their seat, the wrong seat. In this toy example, our answer to the question, what's the probability you will sit in your assigned seat, is one half or 50%. Let's try now with three passengers and three seats on the plane. In this situation, there's a one third chance the first passenger will choose their own seat. And if they do, the second passenger will choose their own seat, since it's still available, and in turn, you will choose your own seat as well. There's also a one-third chance the first passenger will take your seat. Since they didn't choose the second passenger's seat, the second passenger will still take their own seat, leaving you with the wrong seat, the first passenger's seat. The last situation splits, also with probability one-third. In this case, the first passenger will take the second passenger's seat. And this is where it gets a little interesting, since this time the second passenger has a choice. Since they're picking their next seat at random, their seat was taken, half the time they will take your seat, leaving you with the wrong seat, the first seat, and half the time they'll take the first seat, leaving you with the right seat, your correct seat. We can compute these probabilities without too much trouble. One third of the time the first passenger takes their seat, leaving you with yours, and one sixth of the time the second passenger ends up taking the first passenger's seat, leaving you with yours. One third plus one sixth is one half, the answer in this case. We could do this with four passengers and so on, but the pattern is going to hold true. Basically, three things can happen. The first passenger takes their own seat, meaning everyone sits in their assigned seat, including you. The first passenger could also take your seat, meaning everyone else on the plane will get their own assigned seat, since you're the last person on the plane. And then, in turn, you will end up in the first passenger's seat. Or finally, the first passenger could take the seat of someone in the middle, causing that person to take a random seat and starting a cycle. A cycle that would eventually close with that person either taking the first passenger's seat or your seat. What's pretty interesting about this is that you only ever end up in your own seat or the first passenger's seat both of those situations being equally likely. Probability of one half is pretty certain in this case, but there's another situation where it's very debatable if the probability is one half. Click the video right here to check it out. I'll see you in that one.